Welcome back to the Practical Escapist. Last time we showed you how to make a savory snail pie, but did you know that snails have many uses? Today on the Practical Escapist, we're going to show you the second way to make snail pie as a sweet, delicious dessert. <laughs> Once you have rolled out your pie crust to your heart's content, you can put it into your pie plate and shape it accordingly. Trim off any excess on the side. Then you refrigerate it to allow it to re-solidify until we're ready to bake our pie. Next we can prepare our cinnamon rolls. We're going to do them without yeast, and the reason for that is because we don't want them to be big and fluffy. We want them to be small and thin. So, we're taking a cup of unsweetened almond milk, about three tablespoons of non butter butter, one tablespoon of sugar, and we're using vanilla sugar because we have it on hand, but you can just use regular sugar. About a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now you can start to add your flour in, about a half a cup at a time. Mix with your hands as you go. Add the flour bit by bit because you may not use the full amount, so use it until it gets nice and thick. Once your dough has reached a consistency and can be formed into a ball like this and is not too, too sticky, then you know it is ready to receive some cinnamon. Now that your dough is prepared, we're going to cut it into three different sizes. We're going to have a small size, a medium size, and a large one. So you want three distinct sizes so that it may take some doing. This is going to determine the thickness of our cinnamon rolls. There we have it, small, medium, and large. Put some flour on a surface, put your small ball down, and roll it out nice and flat. Next, take some of your vegan butter and brush it onto the top of your dough. Brush it nice and evenly and make sure that it is completely coated. Next, take desired amount of cinnamon, however much you feel is appropriate, using your judgment, and sprinkle it on top, again making sure to be nice and even, spread it around, then do the same thing with brown sugar. Once it's all together, you can roll up your cinnamon roll. Brush with extra butter on the sides there to help it stay shut. We're going to take your little roll and we're going to cut it into small pieces. It's okay if they don't look perfect. They'll be very small and that's okay because that is what we want for these ones. So now you have all your cute little cinnamon buns. We're going to reserve the best looking ones for the top of the pie. So keep those ones aside. Bring your pie crust back out. Dock the bottom of the fork. Brush your crust with some of the butter. Make sure it's all evenly covered. Sprinkle the bottom of your crust with some cinnamon and a liberal amount of brown sugar. And now we're going to take some of the less pretty cinnamon buns, reserving about five of the cuter ones for the top, and we're gonna stick them in the bottom. And the other five we can put aside because they're going to go on the top. Next, we're going to prepare our apples by peeling and coring and slicing them. Now that your apples are nice and sliced, it's time to start layering them on top of your crust. Doesn't matter how you do this, but be mindful of the fact that you'll be working around your little cinnamon buns here. I use bigger chunks for the bottom and then I'll be using the smaller ones for on top. Once you've got a nice thin layer on the bottom and it's nice and even, 
you can start covering over your cinnamon rolls and they will bake inside. Now that our pie is topped with apples, we're going to set it aside and continue forward. Next, take about a half a cup of Earth Balance and we're going to melt it in a frying pan or in a pot. Once your butter has melted, add some flour. We're going to stir it into a paste. And we're going to add water, about a half cup. Add your sugar. Bring to a boil, then turn it down to a simmer and let everything combine nicely. This will make a nice thick sauce to go into our pie. Once it's bubbling thusly, we're going to remove it directly from the heat. Now that we have a nice caramel sauce, we're going to pour that over top. Spread it evenly so that it kind of sneaks down through the cracks of the apples. Make sure it is nice and evenly coated. And next we're going to move back to our cinnamon rolls. We're now going to repeat the process that we did with our small cinnamon buns. With the medium, and then slice into them, same as you did before. And then last but not least, do the same thing with your large one. Our cinnamon buns are done, so now that means it's time to put them on top of our pie. We're going to work from the middle to the ends, taking our largest cinnamon bun and dropping it right in the center. We're going to take the very small ones and move them around the sides here. Only use the best looking ones. Arrange them however you like. don't use them all, that's no problem. If you do use them all, that's awesome. So now that we have our beautiful little snaily pie, brush the top with any remaining vegan butter that you have. And then we're going to put it in the oven. So something that is completely optional, but you are welcome to do while you wait for your delicious pie to bake, is make a nice little glaze. So you don't have to use too much liquid, some powdered sugar and just a little bit of your non-dairy milk, whatever it is you used before. Whisk it until there are no lumps and set aside until your pie is finished. After your pie is baked and ready, take it out of the oven. It should be smelling really lovely. Allow it to cool for a few minutes before you add your glaze. After it's cooled for a few minutes, you can take your drizzle and just gently pour some on top. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Just do what you feel is right. And allow it to set. And so there you have it. Hospitality with snails. Dinner and dessert. Enjoy.
way to start a sentence. All right, let's try that again. Nobody look at that. That looks terrible. All right. We might have to film this part again because I messed up. Yeah, I used way too much almond milk. We're going to film that part again. Whee!